Welcome to my channel. Journey of the World with Sergo. Today I will tell you about Studlagil Canyon. The Studlagil Canyon in Iceland is a natural marvel that draws tourists from all over the world. Canyon is considered one of the best tourist spots in Iceland. To receive such a prestigious award in the land of fire and ice is a remarkable achievement because this island nation is home to many natural treasures. Located at the intersection of two lithospheric plates, Iceland is a tourist's paradise. These geological formations mesmerize the imagination. Description and origin narrative about Studlagil Canyon. The canyon is a hilly region with pillar-like basalt formations. These flawlessly smooth basalt columns that have been sculpted by millennia-old river currents are both fascinating and puzzling. A sizable excavator appears to have worked here, suggesting that man and nature collaborated to build something so beautiful. The basalt columns are evidence of volcanic activity that have formed naturally. Huge lava flows from many Icelandic volcanoes that erupted centuries ago remained and froze in this region. The lava flow's considerable thickness caused the heated mass to cool unevenly. As the heated rock cools, its volume decreases, creating strain that leads to the formation of even fissures. Changes in the island's environment caused the glaciers to melt after the mountain mass deep in the soil took on the shape we know it to have today. The Yokelsaudal River was created by atmospheric precipitation, together with the snowfall of winter. It was roughly 150 kilometers long. The Vatnajökull Glacier was close to where the river originated. The Jokulsaudal took a very long time to complete its course in Studlagil Canyon. Icelanders commonly refer to Jokulsaudal as Jokla, which literally means a glacier. However, the river did not instantly change into its current state. The Jokla was almost the most potent and perilous glacial river in the world up until the early 2000s. The now famous Studlagil Canyon was created as a result of the Jokla's rushing waters. But it took the world's top engineers to utilize their skillful hands to reveal the gorgeous basalt columns to the sight of common people. In 1625, the first human endeavor to use Jokla's power was made. The first bridge connecting the two banks of the Jokuldalur Valley was then constructed by the islanders. There had never been a crossing before. The river's water was brown until 2009 as a result of the massive volumes of sand and mud that were released in a strong flow, up to 120 tons slash hour. The primary stream from the Vatnajökull glacier that fed the Jokla was lost after the Hal Sun Reservoir was put into operation. It is currently only fed by springs and groundwater. Majestic and enigmatic basalt columns surfaced as the stream got calm and the water's hue changed to emerald. The top is covered with a green layer. The terrain is grassland, and there are relatively few trees on the approaches to it. The canyon walls, covered with masses of basalt, are visible right at its edge. Studlagil reveals the basis of Iceland. The island state was formed by volcanic activity many millions of years ago. In August and September, Jokla has the highest flow of water. Some stories describe the amazing genesis of Iceland's basalt pillars. They are thought to be the remnants of the giant's activities who previously lived on the island. The reason why enormous monsters had to bury such a large number of 30-meter high stone sticks in the earth however, is not rationally explained by these beliefs. Scientific evidence supports the basalt pillars of Studlagil Canyon's origin. Heterogeneously cooled was the substantial lava mass. Iceland's whole island is made of basalt. There are several states where you can find this rock. Basalt that is porous and the result of sudden eruptions can be found. 
the uniform cooling of lava led to the formation of the most well-known uniform basalt. What information is necessary for visitors to Studlagil Canyon? The infrastructure surrounding Iceland's Studlagil Canyon is not very well established because it is a relatively recent tourist destination. Yes, and most of the island's tourism attractions are located in difficult to reach areas. Plan your vacation and overnight accommodations accordingly. Be sure to budget a day for travel if the journey originates in Iceland's western region. The travel is very long and the mountain routes are taxing. Tourists watch as others cross the Jakla River to the water from the observation deck at the northern end of the canyon. You must cross the bridge to the south side in order to reach that area and continue along nature's own paved route to the river. About six kilometers of it are downstream. Even though the bridge is off limits to vehicles, you can still walk across it. With bloggers, Studlagil Canyon is highly well liked. Every visitor to Iceland who has at least once heard of this natural phenomenon should go see it to capture special images and share them on social media. And it's not by chance. It seems like something out of a fairy tale as you down the elaborate steps to the riverbed of the Jokli, where vertical columns rise on either side. Subscribe and like my channel. I'm happy to try for you. See you in the next video.